Acts chapter 22. I'm reading from New Living Translation Version Bible. Brothers and esteemed fathers, Paul said, Listen to me as I offer my defense. When they heard him speaking in their own language, the silence was even greater. Then Paul said, I am a Jew born in Tarsus, a city of Cilicia, and I was brought up and educated here in Jerusalem under Gamaliel, Gamaliel. As his student, I was carefully trained in our Jewish laws and customs. I became very zealous to honor God in everything I did, just like all of you today. And I was, and I persecuted the followers of the way, hounding some to death, <clears throat> arresting both men and women, and throwing them in prison. The high priest and the whole council of elders can testify that this is so. For I received letters from them to our Jewish brothers in Damascus, authorizing me to bring the followers of the way from there to Jerusalem in chains to be punished. As I was on the road approaching Damascus about noon, a very bright light from heaven suddenly shone down around me. I fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to me, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? Who are you, Lord? I asked. And the voice replied, I am Jesus of Nazarene, the one you are persecuting. The people with me saw the light but didn't understand the voice speaking to me. I asked, What should I do, Lord? And the Lord told me, Get up and go into Damascus. And there you will be told everything you are to do. I was blinded by the intense light and had to be led by the hand in Damascus by my companions. A man, a man named Ananias, Ananias lived there. He was a godly man, deeply devoted to the law and well regarded by all the Jews of Damascus. He came and stood beside me and said, Brother Saul, regain your sight. And that very moment I could see him. Then he told me, The good the, the God of our ancestors have chosen you to know his will and to see the righteous one and hear him speak, for you are to be his witness, telling everyone what you have seen and heard. What are you waiting for? Get up and be baptized. Have you all, have your sins washed away by calling on the name of the Lord? After I returned to Jerusalem, I was praying in the temple and fell into a trance. And fell into a trance. I saw a vision of Jesus saying to me, "Hurry! I leave." Uh, Harry, leave Jerusalem, for the people here won't accept your testimony about me. But Lord, I argue there, certainly know that in every synagogue I imprisoned and beat those who believe in you, and I was in complete agreement with your witness, Stephen, when your witness, Stephen, was killed. I stood by and kept the coat, coats that took off when they stoned him. But the Lord said to me, Go, for I will send you far away to the Gentiles. The Lord listened until Paul said that word. Then they all began to shout, Away with such a fellow! He isn't fit to live. They yelled, threw off their coats, and tossed handfuls of dust into the air. Paul reveals his sit Roman Paul reveals his Roman citizenship. The commander brought Paul inside and ordered him lashed with whips to make him confess his crime. He wanted to find out why the crowd had been 
so furious. When they type, when they type Paul down to lash him, Paul said to the officer standing there, Is it legal for you to whip a Roman citizen who hasn't even been trialed? When the officer heard this, he went to the commander and asked, What are you doing? This man is a Roman citizen. So the commander went over and asked Paul, Tell me, are you a Roman citizen? Yes, I certainly am, Paul replied. I am too, he, the commander muttered, and it, costs, and it costs me plenty. Paul answered, I, but I am a citizen by birth. The soldiers who were about to interrogate Paul quickly withdrew, and when they heard he was a Roman citizen and the commander was frightened because he had ordered the, him bound and whipped Paul before the high council. The next day, the commander ordered the leading priest into session with the Jewish high council. He wanted to find out what the travel was all about. So he released Paul to have him stand before them. This is the word of God.